It's 2023, it's a post-Andrew Tate world, so why is making misogyny a hate crime such a controversial issue? Currently, in England and Wales, race, religion, disability, sexual orientation, and transgender identities are the only specific characteristics that can, in law, trigger a hate crime. If one or more of these motives can be proved, it can result in a more severe punishment. So why is there such a lack of consensus, even among organisations that specifically focus on women and girls as issues? Some campaigners say that sex and gender should be added to that list of characteristics because misogyny is one of the root causes of violence against women. But the UK government has consistently rejected the idea, saying that it could prove more harmful than helpful. According to the Law Commission, if misogyny was made a hate crime, prosecutors would have to prove that a hate crime had occurred as a part of another offence, such as rape. It is argued that this would make it harder to convict sex offenders and domestic abusers and also create hierarchies of victims. Charities like Rape crisis and end violence against women both express doubts about whether the move could make any meaningful change for women. They say it would distract from the real priority prevention work, which would stop harassment happening in the street in the first place. According to them, criminalization is an ineffective deterrent to the violence and harassment faced by women, but advocates of making misogyny a hate crime say that it's needed to tackle prejudice and reduce crime. The gender equality charity The Force Society argues that making misogyny a hate crime would challenge the normalization of toxic attitudes on our streets. Meanwhile, the domestic violence charity Refuge says that a radical change in culture is needed to better protect women and girls. So where do you land? Is making misogyny a hate crime just symbolic? Will it do more harm than good? 